Hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Boy, that was an ugly Tuesday on DK, at least for me. Um, also couldn't make my late swaps, which cost me a big win in the other one. But onward and upward, um, trying to work it out with them right now. But it is uh, it was pretty frustrating in general, uh, kind of an ugly slate. Nobody really scored all that much. It was a lot of opportunity, and uh, we just couldn't get there. So we're on to a new month here in September. Guys, want to remind you guys, it's a month free. You might want to do it before NFL season. Um, if you check out TrueDFS.com right now, I would really uh, – encourage you to do that. You get sheets of sheets, all of my ownerships of each team, each pitcher, et cetera. Um, all my plays of the day, the bets of the day. And we've got a good, good crew there. So don't forget to check out the discord as well, which I'll link in the description here and let's get on to some plays of the day. So basically what I want to focus on on this is not necessarily five individual bats or anything like that, or five plays. I want to talk, uh, cause we are doing, we didn't have sheets for a breakdown today cause he's out. So my quick breakdown is there are five viable stacks as I see it. Now, there are other ones you could throw in there, like San Francisco, who I don't have on my list, Kansas City, uh, potentially some get bats from Cleveland. But the five I'm going to be focusing on, and I'm probably going to narrow it down a little bit, are the White Sox, Twins, Oakland, Toronto, and the Yankees. Leaning more towards the Yankees and Toronto as one-offs, uh, two-offs kind of a situation, maybe a, a three-man or something like that. Leaning on full stacks for Oakland leading on a full stack for uh, Chicago and Minnesota sort of falls in the three to five man category as well. So I really do like the Oakland stack against Peralta today. That's where I'm probably going to be focusing. Love Olsen, love Marte. If you can get up to him, uh, you can get the cheap uh, Tony Kemp, a great stolen base spot against Peralta. You can get the, uh, the cheap, fairly cheap in the mid range, cheap on, on DraftKings, really cheap on FanDuel, uh, Josh Harrison, Mark Canna fits in well in that stack. You can play Murphy at catcher. There's a lot to like about the Oakland lineup today. I think they're they're sort of trending towards my favorite at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be doing there. I'm also going to be heavy on the White Sox, which I think will be pretty popular. But I think there's going to be, you know, we have to wait to see the lineup, how lineups come out on, on, you know, Wednesdays and Thursdays. We tend to get different lineups. So I kind of want to see what they do with their lineup. But you've got Vaughn for value. You've got, uh, you know, obviously Grandall, who's just on, on fire coming back from the injury. Uh, you've got Abreu. Uh, Robert is really cheap on DraftKings, going to be really popular over there. But I'm okay to eat a little bit of that chalk. I think Jimenez, you can get up to Jimenez, you'll get a lower ownership. I like that. And you can do the opposite on FanDuel because their prices are sort of flipped. Um, on Minnesota's side of the things, I just, I really do like the Buxton Donaldson. And Rivers says, what, what happened to Buxton? Look, it's been a few games. It's baseball. You know, you can go weeks without hitting a home run, even if you're the best hitter in baseball. Uh, Buxton, at least he took off and tried to steal a base last night, just got, barely got caught. Um, I love that he was running. It makes me feel like he's a little bit in better health than, than maybe we'd even hoped for. So I love Minnesota. I love Buxton's price on DK especially, but don't mind him on FanDuel either. And then you can include Polanco, who is kind of banged up, um, as well as some cheapies at the bottom of the order. If Jeffers is behind the plate, which I think he will be tonight, you can have him as your catching option. So I like that very much. I know Toronto will be popular against Harvey, and I get it. Um, <laughs> you know, it makes perfect sense. I just would say that, you know, we've seen Toronto let everybody down consistently and they've been the coldest team in baseball for the last month. So I would encourage maybe two or three bats for home run upside. Obviously, Vladdy standing out as the best one. Bichette, uh, I have Simeon a little further down than Bichette. And I like Dickerson, assuming that he's in the lineup today quite a bit. Uh, Going to, again, have to see how that lineup shakes out. The Yankees are the obvious guys. You know, you want all the big bats or whatever, but I'm okay with making it a full or a mini stack. I'm going to lean more towards the mini. If you want to include the full stack, you can play the cheaper Shella and LeMahieu, and that would be the way to get, you know, maybe the whole stack in. Um, and then we're going to talk about, I think that's pretty much all of the stacks I had. Um, yeah, so, so pitching. Um, I'm going to probably be higher on Cole. He does have an extreme hitters umpire, and he's like the only person with one. But I think it's a great matchup against the Angels. Um, Tyon let me down a little bit last night. It was one of my 2v2 swaps that I couldn't get on, over to on my good lineup. I wanted to get the best pitchers. But anyway, I should stop talking about that one. Uh, I really do like uh, – I still really don't care. I, I really like Cole tonight, especially his price on DK is, is ridiculous. Um, I like Scherzer, but I think Scherzer might be higher owned than I currently have him. So I'm going to have him down a tiny bit and lean on more Rodon and Kevin Gaussman. Gaussman has been unbelievable at home and finally gets a reasonable matchup, even though it's not like the easiest, but I do think Gaussman has some serious upside may end up getting a little bit overlooked. So I'm sort of spending some of my ownership there. I'm not as high on, on Scherzer and sale today, although I will have sprinkles of them. They are not my priorities. And I may change that by the end of the day with Scherzer, but I, I definitely, it's pretty unusual that we play a slate and I don't have Scherzer as my top guy. 
Uh, I think Ryan is your other option as a pitcher. I think that uh, you've got, you know, this young guy coming in for Minnesota against the Cubs. Anybody's going to be interesting. 5K, even if he only goes four innings, I think you can look at, you know, 15 to 20 points as, a, as an actual possibility for him here. Um, and I think that he's sort of like that, that low end guy who makes everything work for the high, for the spend up uh, stacks that you like. So I do, do not mind Joe Ryan. And then along with Gaussman, I should mention uh, James Caprillion against the Tigers. I know it's how good the matchup is. caprillion has been really good for the most part. Um, struggled a little bit his last few times out. It hasn't been as good as when he first came in, but it's had some tougher matchups. And now he gets to face the, uh, the Tigers. So I think there's definitely a potential for him as well. So that's how I've got it. I've got Cole number one. Um, I'm just going to make a take a look at my sheets here, which you can find on TrueDFS.com. But I've got Cole number one for the time being. And then I have these other guys sort of closer together, Rodon. Um, and then if you're spending down the Caprillion Gaussman range, I like Gaussman a little better. And then I like uh, Joe Ryan down at the bottom while sprinkling in some Scherzer and Sale. Anyway, guys, good luck to everyone tonight. I'll be with you with 6 Eastern. Six Eastern. I don't believe that Sheets will be. But um, if not, maybe we can get Rody or somebody else like that to come join us. If not, it'll be me solo for at least uh, 20 minutes to a half hour, and uh, we can have some fun on a less stressful slate. <laughs> All right, guys, good luck to everybody today. Uh, we'll hope to see you at the top of the leaderboards.